Gabriele Niola, Betteis.it, Italy. Hi, Matthew. I agree with the, whatever you said. Properly lenient, <laughs> sir. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I remember in 2016, when the first scene came out, uh, you were uh, saying in interviews that you were you really looked for this kind of gig to do in voice work. And you did with Sing and with Kubo, etc. Now, five years later, how did that work for you, for your career and for your experience as an actor? Working out wonderfully. I'm so glad I did it. I mean, look, I started off wanting to do some voice work and some animated shows because my kids were tired of answering the question. When people said, what's your favorite movie your dad's been in? They go, we don't know. We haven't seen any. I haven't made many movies that they could see. So look, having kids is a big reason why I wanted to get into doing some voice work and animation. And then if I can work on something like seeing one or seeing two that is not just for kids, that is also for us moms and dads that we can go and we have songs and sing to that we know, that we'll sing along to, that we can stand up in the theater and sing along to and tell our kids, hey, this was a hit when I was your age. That's, it's, that's why it's fun for the, the, the whole family. We need, uh, we need some good news right now and sing to is some good news. Okay, so this second movie is much more about uh, the show business. It has a broader sense of what show business and the difficulties of show business and the good things. So tell me one thing that the movie gets totally right about show business and one thing that it's pure fantasy, it's animation. That's not right. It's not, that doesn't exist. Okay, so it gets right that if the boss has a child, who has any talent whatsoever, <laughs> they're going to want to put their kid in the show. <laughs> <laughs> it also gets right that, hey, if they're really not the right person for the role, if there's someone better, if their performance is going to bring the level of everything else down, if it's not par excellence enough, then you know what? Okay, nice try. We'll find another role for them. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. it's an extras role. And that happens with like the Porsche character in here. Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that, hey, the show's got to go on. There's a date and a promise of a time to have a show on by hook or by crook. Go do what you got to do to get the show on. And that may be even telling some fibs or making some bets and some signing some checks that you can't cash, as Buster Moon does throughout this film. Makes promises that he doesn't know if he can even pull off. Has big doubts that he can pull off. But with the help of uh, um, a lot of friends and some good luck, he does pull it off. Um, but the stakes and the, the, the consequences are big. If the show doesn't go on, everybody loses their job. Everybody pays the, pays the debt. And something that's complete fantasy that doesn't exist and just only exists in a movie? Um, what would it be? Um, yeah. That Buster Moon doesn't sing. Complete fantasy. Doesn't happen in the movie. <laughs> Complete fantasy. <laughs> okay, that was great. Thank you very much. Uh, ciao. Ciao.